Coming up on Around Kern County, a program started by the probation department is helping change the outcomes of Kern County youth one shirt at a time. And Kern County Government Television is celebrating 25 years on the air. A look back on the channel's history when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're kicking off today's show with an amazing program designed to remove barriers and change the outcome of youth on probation by providing them with some helping hands. Take a look. Um, helping Hands is a nonprofit organization ran by probation officers working with juvenile youth on probation. Um, as officers, we noticed a need for hygiene and clothing items while working with our youth. They expressed the lack of certain items as the reason why they were not attending school. Um, as officers, we grew concerned with this um, as we were using school as a reason to send them back to court because school is a court order for our, uh, our youth on probation. Um, so uh, we, a couple of us as probation officers came together and that's how Helping Hands was born. So when we first launched Helping Hands, our goal was to assist kids with going to school uh, because the majority of our kids were returning into the system because they were not attending school. So our first year we received 24 referrals and 75% of those kids did not return back into custody and which was a great number. When we entered our second year, we received over 80 referrals and over 85% of those um, youth did not return back into custody. And so as we go into our third year, we already received over 85 referrals. And so we're expecting our numbers to continue to grow, not just with the referrals, but also with the number of kids that are, that are staying out of custody and continuing to go to school and working towards getting their high school diploma. Once we received the referral on behalf of the youth, we set up a personalized shopping experience. And once they are finished selecting their items, we put their items in a shop bag, which stands for support, hope, opportunities, and possibilities. After our youth receive their shop bags, us officers notice that they are happier, such as when they're at school. Oftentimes we visit with them at, uh, during school hours and make contact with them and we notice that they're wearing their clothing items that were provided by our program. We, not we notice that there is a boost in confidence. Um, we hope uh, that our youth uh, don't experience things that they were experiencing prior to being serviced by our program, such as bullying or being made fun of by other students for wearing the same clothing items on a daily basis. For more information on how you can contribute, you can contact Wendy Gutierrez at 661-868-4188. Our program is still young and with the support of our community because we run solely based on donations, we are confident that our program will continue to grow. May is National Foster Care Awareness Month and the Department of Human Services is working to educate the community about this important campaign. Foster Care Awareness Month is an opportunity to acknowledge everyone who touches foster care, ranging from resource parents to child welfare professionals who help children and youth in foster care find permanent homes and connections. There are more than 400,000 children in foster care across the country and about 2,000 foster children here in Kern County. Locally, we have about 1,000 county resource foster homes. If you would like to learn more about foster care, follow DHS on social media all month long for information, beautiful stories, and ways to get involved in our local foster care system. You can also listen to their podcast. Just search the heartbeat of human services. We're sharing some good news for local readers just in time for summer. The Kern County Library has reopened their last closed library location following the COVID-19 pandemic. Residents can now visit the Northeast Branch Library again and hours of operation are Wednesdays through Fridays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. If you would also like to enroll in the Kern County Library's annual Summer Reading Challenge, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. 
and you can now use your Kern County Library card to access our California State Parks for free. All you have to do is check out a vehicle day use pass at any Kern County Library, which is valid any day of the week for entry to any state parks. This program is designed to eliminate barriers and help everyone in California explore the great outdoors. The closest state parks to Kern County are Colonel Allensworth State Park just north of Wasco, Millerton Lake State Recreation Area between Fresno and Madera counties, and Morro Bay State Park in San Luis Obispo County. For more information about this program, you can visit kerncountylibrary.org. And we're ending today with a glimpse into Kern County Government Television as we celebrate 25 years on the air this week. This is a KGov special presentation. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first ever televised supervisor meeting. For those of you joining us for the first time, you'll find agendas in the back of the board chambers. And I must say that I was instructed to, um, to do one thing before we get started, being this is our first televised meeting, and it was to remind all the board members that we are on the air and there <laughs> will be no cussing. <laughs> Our station broadcasted the very first Board of Supervisors meeting on May 5th, 1997. Before that, the audio from board meetings was played over loudspeakers throughout our entire county administrative building. Geographically, our channel has become one of the largest government access channels in the state, broadcasting across more than 8,000 square miles. You can see everything from our graphics to the quality of our content has improved over time. Now, our station broadcasts content 24-7, airing everything from board meetings to the Kern County Planning Commission to special programs such as the one you're watching right now. And that does it for us for this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.